like Google Slides. I personally like to start just with a blank slide, so I'm gonna get rid of these. So I just have a blank slide here. I'm gonna insert a text box and you might have a shortcut that looks like that. But when I make my text box, I'm going to make it in the shape of one of our cards. And then I'm also going to give it a border. So I'm gonna make it black and then I just wanna center it. And then I like to use Comic Sans because it has normal A's and G's. And then I'm gonna make this as large as I can. And I'm gonna put this at the very bottom and center it. And that's it, voila. And then I'm just gonna hit duplicate slide. And I can do this for a vowel, but for a vowel, I wanna make my card yellow. Done. And you can adjust the color. So if it's a little too bright, you can do custom and you can drag this and adjust that however you want. Um, maybe I make it a little lighter. Okay, um, so you can adjust that however you wanna do it and then just hit duplicate. If I wanna do an, um, a consonant, I'm just gonna make sure that it's white instead of yellow. So I can just keep doing that and include all of those review concepts. And then the way that I did um, the blending is the same way, but I'm just going to make these a little, this a little bit smaller. So that looks about right. And then I'm just going to move that over here. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to do three boxes there. Okay, and this middle one is going to be a vowel. And that's it. I can even make these a little bit bigger if I wanted to. And I just think this is a nice alternative um, when you're working with students. This one looks a little bigger than the other two. Um, and then I can just hit duplicate slide again and change this up. Okay. And so um, it's just a nice way if you're working virtually that you don't have to try to hold up cards or try to hold up a blending board. Um, and you are, are permission to make these. And um, it's pretty easy and it's quite fun. And then you can control uh, your blending board a little bit more so you don't have any spicy dicey words or anything like that. So pretty easy. And then all I did, if you do get the Good Reader app and you're using an iPad like I showed you earlier, um, all you have to do is go to file and download this as a PDF and then send it to your Goodreader app and then you can show it as a PDF. But the other nice thing about Zoom is I can hit present here. I can go back to slide number one and I could just do it right here with my student and it comes up and they could be doing the visual drill. Um, here's blending. Okay, so you could still do it that way too. Um, so I hope that helped. And if you have any questions, feel free to um, let me know. And I hope everyone's doing well.